Hi, and welcome back to Fluid Mass Training. In this image, we're going to tackle this palm tree by using our rectangular patch tool and our color workspace. But first, I want to make sure I get the background out first. So I'm going to use my second red brush down, which is our delete local brush. And I'm going to make one swipe on the background, and that's going to take out a majority of the sky for me. I could go in and paint in all these little areas, but it'd be the easiest way would be using our rectangle patch, which is located between the eraser and your color sampler. So I'm going to select rectangular patch. I'm going to click to the left of the image and drag the patch over the whole image. Right down to the bottom here. And when I let up, it will bring us up to our color workspace. In this color workspace, you're seeing a frequency of hue. Your darkest colors are to your left. And by clicking on a color, you can see exactly which color it is in that rectangular patch. And clicking and dragging will highlight an area for you. We want to go ahead and extract the sky, so we're going to start with the lightest color first, and then I will click and drag. As you'll see, the image will turn yellow in the background, showing us what we are actually highlighting of color. And we want to go ahead and get rid of that. Off to your left, you have a set of paint buckets. These paint buckets will allow you to go ahead and put which colors you want to what color mask you want. Our greens are our keeps, red is our delete. So for this image, we want to go ahead and delete that yellow background and get rid of the sky. So go add to delete mask. Notice it will turn out red now in between those areas where we left originally. But we can go down here and turn off our object edges, and you can see here, we, we have a very hard edge, which is not what we want. We want a nice soft transition between the palm and the sky. So in my color workspace, I can go down into the right-hand corner and turn off the red eye, which is the red eye for the delete mask, showing me all the colors I have in my delete mask. These are all the colors that are left over. Before I select these and go and assign these to the keep mask, just to make sure we have everything we want to keep, I'm going to go down in the bottom left hand corner and have Add Blend Mask Automatically Checked. Now I will grab all the rest of the colors, click and drag, and the palm tree will turn yellow for us. And I'm going to go ahead and throw them to my keep bucket, the green bucket here on the top left. And what you'll notice is it'll render up twice, once with the keep, and the second render is going to be our blue transition. But notice the tips of the palm tree we couldn't really find. So we're going to go ahead and close out our color workspace and I'm just going to use our blend exact tool which is the blue pen located right underneath your red pens and I'm going to go and paint over the tip of the palm tree making sure I get any of the areas that the blend line couldn't find. And we're just about done here. So with this being completed, I'm now going to go ahead and create my cutout. And you use the Create Cutout icon at the very bottom of your toolbar. So I'm going to create my cutout. It's going to render up here on the very bottom on our progress bar. And there's our cutout of the palm leaf. 